welcome back to my channel roses star and books last month i didn't post any videos because i was really busy with school and everything else my organization and stuff i had to learn how to manage my time which i did so this month i'm planning on posting videos uh sorry for the lighting also but our set is like raining and gloomy so yeah that's why it's so dark so yeah, for this month, I am taking part in Buzzer Read Town, which is currently going on. And I'll be reading book club picks and I plan on doing a little digging and diving into the fantasy world. So I'll be reading fantasy books and that is what I plan on doing this month. So for the Buzzer Read Town, I already started reading books already and i have six books on my list to read four out of the six is from a series called a time for love that's the series name and the word for buzzer return is time so that's why i picked this series and so far it's not going great with this series so let me dive into the books and I will tell you what I've read so far and how I what I think about the books that I've read so far. So the first book was One Night, which is the prequel to the series by Bethany Lopez. I gave this book two stars. This book has 42 pages. So it's kind of like a short story just to know what happened to just like a background story for the first book and i give this two stars because <laughs> i don't know like let me just say a little spoiler here first of all there is this group this there is this group of boys well three boys that went out to Vegas because one of them is planning on getting married so they was having like a bachelor party in Vegas and so they went out or whatever but the story started with a stripper that is known to be the ice queen or whatever you want to call it because even though she's a stripper she's not going around sleeping with other men and she doesn't allow people to really come closer or anything like that and well she let this one guy come close to her and like when she expressed how she felt he laughed at her and he laughed at her because of the type of person she's known to be the ice queen so he was not expecting her to be like into him but when she, he realized she was serious, he stopped laughing. But she was hurt by the situation, so she left. And she's still thinking about that guy. And there is this other character, I think it's Ginger, was her name. And she's known to be like this person that likes to help people. Like she would just pick up a bunch of strays. That's how they describe She would just be pick up a bunch of strays from the street and decide to help them. Which... I mean, I love that about a, if a person is willing to help any any anybody, and I love that about people, you know. So Ginger found what was his name? Corey. I think Corey was his name. Ginger found Corey. Corey was really really drunk, right? And well, she decided to help him, but she had a shift to go on. She had to work. So she asked the stripper, which I forgot her name, but she asked her to help him out and she would cover for her and work for a day and they made a de deal that she would just cover for her for a week and the girl would get to go on vacation because she always wanted to go on vacation and never could go on vacation. Oh my gosh. I'm basically giving her the whole story. But I need to give her this to explain why I didn't really like it but anyways so they brought she brought Corey from the hotel brought him to his room he became sick he was vomiting 
whatever. He vomited on her clothes. She had to go take a shower. She was naked in the hotel room waiting for her clothes to dry. Whatever, whatever. She basically slept over there. And they basically didn't do anything except for talk. But like in the morning, he didn't remember or whatever. And he just see her walk out the door naked. And then she was off to go on her Mexican vacation. I mean, I guess the story was okay. But it, like, it was lack lacking in depth for me. Like, basically what happened was... Uh, she just brought him to the hotel room and they were just talking about a character we didn't care too much about. Like, she was talking about the guy that she fell for. for And, like, I, I didn't care about him. I didn't feel no sympathy or no thing because I don't know the character that well. I don't know what he's thinking. I don't know anything about this character. So, like, I didn't really care too much about what was going on in the story. And... As an author, it is important to make people try to make people care about your characters, and I just didn't care about characters playing out. And then I read the second book, which I thought would be better, but it turns out that it didn't get better from me, at least for me. You know, other people, if there are people that love this book and stuff like that, but just not me. So the second book was Eight Weeks, same author, Bethany Lopez. I gave one star, the number of pages was 269. Now, for Eight Weeks, the reason why I gave this one one star, oh my gosh. It just didn't sit right with me what, it, what the basis of it was about. So basically, he didn't remember... The girl that was in his hotel room. And since that he and she was naked. He thought they slept together. And. Well he went back home. He told his wife. Because he's married. He told his wife. That he thinks he slept with him. And the wife just up and left. And I was so mad. I understand that you. You can be angry and whatever. But she just up and left and then she was talking about getting a divorce and basically he had to try to get her back so he tell, told her give give me eight weeks to try to prove that I'm willing to do anything to save this marriage blah blah blah, blah. but she was like hmm, you could give me yeah I'll give you the eight weeks but still I'll be divorcing your ass at the end of the eight weeks and I was like You've been together with this dude for eight years. You've been married for six years. And you you just gonna just up and leave the relationship because of the possibility that he might have cheat, cheated on you. Which you're not too sure about. And like he was really drunk out of his ass that he didn't remember a single detail about what happened that's just a fishy to me like i will don't get me wrong i'll be mad that to hear that someone cheated on me who i trusted and think of course i feel betrayed and whatnot but i think that is too simple of a reason to just leave your husband of six years that's just me and like the more i was reading i was getting very aggravated i was getting very angry and i was i was enjoying the book like from after learning about that basically after that i was just scanning the book i didn't even want to know if like anything and like and what made me more angry is that she said that okay she said that she wouldn't be able to live with him again or stay with him or look at him the same because of that and whatever but a few weeks after she slept with him twice and then she still didn't want to make him sleep over or was still possibly thinking about divorcing i mean so if you can forget about incident for like two moments 
to do the dog or do the dirty with him then then girl you can stay with your husband because for me if i really can't see myself team because of that betrayal i want to be sleeping with my husband i want to be sleeping with him again because every time i sleep with him i'll be thinking of, oh my god another girl had this like you was willing to do the dirty and you didn't want to still continue the marriage that had me very much aggravated again so i basically just can't read a book after that and i was like huh, i don't really want to know this is this is not a cute story for me anymore or anything like that wow i basically ranted about this book ranted but yeah that's how it works like yes my boss will read a ton fiasco is not going well so far then the next book i have to yes after those two books that i didn't enjoy i'm willing to still give the other two books a shot in the series you know i'm hoping that at least one book out of the, the four that i'm reading i will enjoy so i already started in 21 days i hope that it's better because it's about tj and sasha which is two side characters from the two past books well the first the prequel we didn't really know about them but i'll say from the first book that is the two side characters that everybody thinks will end up together because well i mean i guess they'll end up together because they they bicker and fight a lot so i'm excited to see yes i said excited to see where this goes and if this one is not good oh my god i'm gonna be so upset then we have 42 hours that is the last book well they're not the last book series but that is the last book i choose to read only because i already have it i already bought it so I might as well read it. If I didn't, if I didn't have it, I would not have bothered to read the rest of the series. Because if I buy a book, I'm gonna read it. I'm not gonna just waste my money for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So then I plan on reading a graphic novel, which is Vampire Cheerleaders in Space and Time, by Adam. Arnold and Michael Schelfer. I do not know nothing about this um, book. It is a series as well because I have like four books in it. But this one, this is the only one that has time in the title in which I own. So I'm going to read it. I already started and so far I'm confused. <laughs> Because I think maybe I need to read like a other book before this one. So I don't know. But it was in front of all other books. So I don't know what's going on. But yeah. Then the last book I plan to read for the Boswell Return is Second Time Bride by Lynn Graham. Which is a Harley Quinn book. It's a Harley Quinn Presents book. And I always well i most of the time i really enjoy how it presents books because that's the books that i grew up reading my mom had a lot of those books here so that is the first set of books i basically grew up reading when i got into romance so i always seem to enjoy those then for my book up book club picks for my personal book club i uh, will we we are reading shatter me which we already started we started on the last day of february so yeah by Ta tahere mafi oh my gosh i'm butchering this author's name sorry so sorry but so far well this is a dystopian book so far um i don't know how i feel about it so far it is good, I guess, and like, 
I think things are starting to pick up. I'm like 20% into this book, chapter 11. So hopefully like next week I will have a full opinion on this book. And then for the night the night owls book club i think that's the name um it, I, we are reading the power by naomi alderman i know i don't know anything about the book again <laughs> i'm just reading i'm just discovering new books and reading and then for the crossy book club we're reading spoiler a spoiler alert by olivia did 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 i think yeah so i know this is a romance i think and that's all i know about this book also so yeah most of the books i don't know nothing i like to go into my books without knowing much details because it's just better that way yeah most of the time <laughs> Uh, one book that I also read uh, this month was Martian Ghost Center, which is coming out on the 9th of this month. This is an ARC by Matt Higerty. I think that's how they pronounce it. It's 192 pages. I give it four stars. I really enjoyed this graphic novel. And I will give a separate review for that one or should i just do it here i just do it here because i already reviewed reviewed it on Galley. so so this book this graphic novel is basically about the sasquatch oh my god i don't even know to, but it's about a sasquatch in a sus i cannot pronounce the place name so I wouldn't attempt anymore but basically the daughter found out that the Sasquatch wasn't real it was something that her parents created and it was like a prank it turns out to be and well she was mad at them but she was also thinking about a way of saving the town because there was this guy who was buying up all the property and everything to build some company and tourists and such was not coming into the town anymore or anything like that so she basically created this character called the Marsh and Ghost Center and like she made her best friend wear the costume go about the place pretending that it's a ghost martian scent or whatever and basically um tourists started to get back into the town and yada yada yeah um it also had the message of her finding herself in terms of what she want to do with her life because she was have struggling with that like her best friend was going to college he had a passion for something her dad and stuff had passion for something but she didn't know what she really liked and she found out that she liked creating stories and writing so she discovered that which i really enjoyed i just it was just a cute graphic novel you know cute and you know stuff like that so yeah so for my fantasy picks that I chose this month to read, I have about one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I have six I choose to read. So the first one is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. And I have the, the audiobook for this. I do not know much about this book. I know it has like a bunch of great reps like disability rep and all those other representations in this book which I think I'll enjoy because as a disabled individual myself I love seeing books that represent us and represent everybody in a whole 
and then I'm planning on reading House of Earth and Blood, Crescent City, Book One, um, by Sarah J. Maas. I I'll, I've uh, like I've been seeing these books so much, like all these books I'm about to read for my fantasy reading month. I've been seeing them so much. You you have no idea how much I've seen these books. And it's just like, okay, I guess I need to read them then. If everybody's loving them so much, I need to read them. So yeah, the next book is The Cruel Prince, which I own. Mm, not physically, but um, through an ebook. I have an ebook for this one. This one is by Holly Black. And I want to listen to the audiobook and also read it through my ebook. So, yeah. Then we have A Curse of Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer. Kem I think that's how I pronounce the name. But, yeah. Um, this was a book club pick um, a few, like, last year. Yeah, I don't know if I ever got into it, but I know I want to give it a chance. And then I, I plan on reading A Coat of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. This is another book that I've seen a lot of, about. Um, I know it has fairies in them because I watched the review by um, Cindy Reads. Oh my gosh, she, uh, she she's hilarious, and uh, just by her review, I wanted to read it. I don't care if like anybody thought it was bad or anything like that, but just by her review and how comical she made it sound, I want to read it. Then I plan on reading From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrot. So, yes, this one, I own it as well. I have it in my library, on my Kindle. So I plan on utilizing and reading. I want to read a lot of books this year that I actually own already because I have like loads of books on my Kindle. And yeah, I just want to read everything that I own. And I hopefully will stop buying books. <laughs> But I don't think that will ever happen because, like, come on, let's be realistic here. But anyways, yeah, that was my <laughs> March TBR. And, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Come back for more of me and my content. And thank you. Thank you just for being here, you know. Thank you very much.